Hello everybody and welcome, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video we will learn how to set the height and the width of the particle JS because by default particle JS came in a full screen mode that sometimes is very like annoying. So particle JS is this library that allows you to put like particles, stars or really interactive animations that are really visual, beautiful, you know, are really nice. So well. Uh, if you want to know how to set that into a video project, I will put it here, a card of a video of how to make it, okay? So, well, we have here our view project, this is, this is the end, is one div, a second div, and a third div, and in the second div, we have the particle JS, okay? So, let's go to the code. This is the basic part, this is like in the last video. So, let's see the result. This code is this part, a particle DS yes in a full screen mode with a little bit of C index in the background. So the particle DS yes are in the background for that reason we can see here the icons. So well, in order to do that, what do we have to do? First, three dips. So let's start it. Um, first, I'm going to put this code. Okay. This is like... It's JavaScript code, so I think it's better if the JavaScript code is in the JavaScript part, in the script. So we can create a new variable called options, okay? And the options are gonna be all that, ooh, 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 I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I didn't copy the thing, okay? Good, okay, okay, now, yeah, okay. Let's do it, the variable, whoop, and that's all. We have here the object. Perfect. Options is the object. Object. So we have to put it inside. Options. All right. We save it and it's the same. So what do we have to do? We have to create here. We're going to do it a container div. And that container div is going to have three divs. Okay. So the container is going to have a class that is container, container particle because it's the particle container, you know, um, those dips, the first one is going to have, uh, well, both three, they're going to have a first div. We're going to change it second and we can change it third. All right. And in the second div, we are going to paste here the particles. And perfect. Okay, this code is no more. Then this code, why this, this that class we don't want to use it. So we save it and we have three dips. Perfect. And the particles doing the full screen that they always do. So let's put some some styles to the container. Let's put it. Uh, mm, mm, mm. First of all, the display flex because I want all the div in the next to the other poof, poof, poof. horizontal. So another thing that I want in this case, I want that container in the full screen mode. I want it the huge. Um, so let's put it a position. Absolute. Let's put it on top. Let's put it total to the left and let's put a height of a hundred percent. Yeah. And a width of a hundred view per width, like totally perfect, totally the screen. All right. So now for the inside div, this div, the first one, the second one, and the third one, we're gonna put it this class again, and we're gonna say for all the childrens, the div childrens, and let's put it a width. Let's put it a position relative because we're gonna, we, we will use that for the particles and we put it a width of 100%. So, perfect, we have here the first one, the second one and the third one. So, in order to finish this exercise, how can we make to these particles going inside the second div? So let's go to the attribute options. We came here, we have the full screen, well, enable through it can be, yeah, but it's important to add this part and a style attribute. And that is style attribute is going to have a position absolute. So the div, poof, the 
the particles are going to be pack, fit into the div. That's perfect. Another thing, if you want to, for example, to change another stuff, you can change here the width of the... This is a Canva. The particles, they get unloaded into a Canva. So we have the, con the div, the biggest one, the container. We have the three divs. And inside the second div, we have a canvas. In that canvas, the particles are on. So this is the style of the Canva. So you can put, for example, a width of 50% and a height of... Ooh. Well, let's see the width. Width, width, width is it's, it's not like this. It's like this. All right. All right. Can you see it? And now, for example, the height. Again, 50%. And poof. Now we have the the friends or, or dear friend particles and the half of the half. All right. Well, I think this is you have another another attribute there. But um, well, those are the importance, I guess. In the documentation, they have more explicit the uh, position with hate. But well, if you have any doubt or something, you can put it on comment and I will try my best to answer to you. And that's it. I think with this, we will learn how to set the width and the height of the particle JS. So, well, a big hug, and I hope you are well. Regards.